welcome to a video where, oh, I hope you can see me. I've been getting quite a few complaints, cr like constructive complaints. Don't worry, I'm not upset about it. I'm just worried. A lot of people have said that my videos are too bright. And so I turned down the brightness by a lot. And now I'm just scared that they're going to be too dark. So uh, thank you for sticking with me. I am trying. Hopefully this looks better. Let me know in the comments down below either way. But I have not got, I need to get this right here, this new foundation from Shiseido. I'm trying to think, what would the English pronunciation be? Shiseido? I mean, it's a Japanese brand, so I want to call it Shiseido, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've had this foundation for quite a few weeks now. It's been sitting in my top drawer where I've got all my foundations and primers and stuff that I want to test with you guys, but there have just been other foundations that people have been interested in, and then all of a sudden, I've been getting tons of requests to review this, so I'm assuming one of the bigger YouTubers that I don't watch must have reviewed this and really liked it. So now you guys want to know if it's really very good, and that's okay. I've, Like I said, I've had it, and I've been wanting to try it out. I don't know that I've tried anything from Shiseido before, but here, I guess we're getting into it. This is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. It is oil-free and has an SPF of 30 in it, and it is a whopping $47. So this is definitely a more expensive foundation if you ask me. It does look like it's been getting good reviews. If I counted correctly, there are 30 different shades to choose from. It looks like they are mostly in the light range, but they do have things that look like they range from light to deep. Now, granted, there's only a couple deep shades, but there are quite a few dark shades and there's a good selection of medium shades it looks like and also like I said, it really seems to focus in the lights. You know, it depends on if you look at the arm swatches or else the color swatches on Sephora. I haven't seen the shade range in person, but that's just what it looks like. I really wanted to try out the concealer too, but girls got a budget. I got the shade 220 Linen, so hopefully that works for me. They say that this is a weightless foundation that synchronizes with the skin and self-refreshes. What? Non-stop for an up to 24 hour just applied look and flawless finish. It's got medium natural looking coverage. They say it's good for normal dry combo and oily skin, which has always got me thinking, <laughs> no, no, not possible, but that is what they claim. They say that it's got active force technology in it to protect the finish from the effects of sweat, oil, and facial movement, and then some other kinds of fancy sounding stuff that they apparently put in this to basically help match to your skin color and just look nice on your skin. And while it is not free of fragrance, it does contain less than 1% of synthetic fragrances, so that's good hopefully. <laughs> Clearly my skin has been in a bit of a mood after all of these fragranced products I've been testing lately. This is also apparently an Allure Best of Beauty award winner. Maybe that's, maybe it wasn't a YouTuber that tested this out. Maybe that's why people are asking me to test this. But to use Shake It, ooh, it's got a locking lid and you can build it up layer it, whatever. Cool! So, let's uh, let's get you zoomed in. Oh, I'm so scared. It looks so dark in my monitor. I'm excited. This bottle looks super fancy, or at least on the site it looked really nice. Ooh! Mm, it's just a nice looking bottle. It's frosted glass. Now I'm scared. Twist cap to unlock and lock pump. Okay. Oh! I don't know what the locked position. I'm assuming it came in the locked position. We'll, uh, we'll find out, but here we go. Skin, this is what it's looking like. It has been washed and moisturized. No primer for this day one of testing. Okay, okay, I think this has been well shaken. Now let's see. Yes, okay, it came in the locked position. And then now this will magically be unlocked. I mean, yep, I can feel it. I think that's great. I mean, it makes it really good for travel. You don't have to worry about your foundation squirting out when you don't want it squirting out, but... Okay, and yeah, it smells like a foundation with sunscreen in it and has a slight bit of synthetic fragrance. Maybe like less than 1%. <laughs> okay. Mm, if it stays this color, I think that's gonna be a really good match for me. Find out. I'm using a brush 
to start as per usual. No, if my vision has just gotten even worse, but I'm having trouble seeing how this is looking. Um, based on the distance of my mirror right now, how do we look, guys? Pretty good. Definitely gave coverage. It looks like a foundation, but I think it looks like a nice foundation. And like said, pretty dang good coverage. So now we shall test this with the sponge, see how that does. All right, so definitely a more natural finish with the sponge, a bit more sheared out. You can see blemishes peeking through a lot more, but I can also, I feel like it's starting to oxidize already. I really hope it's not, but it just, it's looking, it's looking orange. It's looking slightly orange. But overall, I think we're good. I am gonna try building this up because they said I could. <laughs> Yes, the reasoning is that simple. There we have it, not bad, eh? Definitely was able to layer and give me more coverage on my blemishes like I wanted. I certainly wouldn't say that it's full coverage. I mean, they didn't say that either, but I think it got pretty dang close to full coverage. It's on the fuller end of medium or on the medium end of full that yep okay i think so far so good i am just gonna get on with my day put on the rest of my makeup got errands to run work to get done you know just it's gonna be a typical day nothing too exciting but i will be making it exciting by testing out this foundation and checking in with you all periodically so that we can see how it's wearing on my skin without primer and then i will see you all at the very end of the night so in any case i'll see y'all in just a second here on youtube land ready ding all right my friends good evening it is the end of the night here for day one of this testing i was feeling oily probably about an hour and a half ago but i was doing laundry and just like finishing up some stuff around here and so and now my cats are playing loudly in a box great timing today just splendid i did check in earlier briefly because i had gotten quite sweaty doing a bunch of stuff and i noticed that even just the slightest touch of my face there was huge transfer coming off however when i checked in on camera for that I didn't think it looked bad, honestly. Like, yeah, I was sweaty and, you know, I blotted my face and took care of things, but overall, I didn't think the foundation looked horrible. It was coming off for sure, but not the worst I've ever seen. And then for the rest of the night here, like I said, I've been feeling good. It's been feeling comfy. I mean, the rest of the night, it's been like super low key type chores and getting work done. So no sweat involved, but as I said, I am oily and I I can definitely see the shininess. I don't think it looks awesome, the foundation. It doesn't look horrible, but you know, it's settled into my nose pores on both sides of my nose, if it's even there at all. It's kind of cracking on my forehead where my brow furrows. It's come off around my nose and it's just overall kind of wiping right off. So I'm definitely gonna call it a night here for the foundation. I am curious to see how this wears with primer on underneath. It was super lightweight throughout the day, so that's the one thing that it kind of has going for it and that has me excited to keep on testing it out. So hopefully that helps. We shall see. As of right now, I just feel kind of meh about it, but like I said, we shall see, we shall find out, and we shall do so together. So I will see you all in just a second here. Ready? Ding! Hello everyone! Welcome to the end of my testing for this Shiseido foundation. I'm so conflicted and I think it's mainly just because I know so many people love this foundation and so it's making me feel like I should love this foundation but in reality if I didn't have that bias going on in my head I think I would just be mediocre but on the bad side of mediocre. <sighs> Sorry. Should have given you a spoiler alert, but uh, in case you care, keep on watching and see why I feel that way. So for day two, I went ahead as I usually do on my second day of testing and used my Smashbox 
primer. I went ahead and also, as per usual lately, used my Kaja Under Eye Corrector Concealer as well as my Too Faced Heavy Duty Concealer, Sculpting Concealer, whatever they call it, just so that I could cover things up and hopefully then not have to use as much foundation to do the covering up. I thought it looked good at the beginning of the day there after application, you know, it looked pretty much the same as it did the first day and I wasn't able, unfortunately, to check in throughout the day until later on because when I could have checked in before I left to do errands and stuff, it had only been like two and a half or three hours, so like it didn't matter at that point to do a check-in. But then when I thought I was going to be able to check in at around five hours, I ended up not being able to because it was my volunteer day at the animal shelter that I volunteer at, and then my shift ended up going way past the time it was supposed to. Blah, blah, blah. Excuses slash facts. That's what happened. I checked in though at the end of the night at the nine hour mark. I had definitely been sweaty throughout the day and I didn't expect it to look good because whenever I would touch my face, even if it was just like to push my glasses up or something, if I happened to just like very briefly touch my face, I could see just foundation all over my finger. That was, however, only when I was sweating, I felt like. With oils, it didn't seem to be that way too much. However, at the end of the night, I didn't think it ended up looking too terribly bad. Certainly, it was a bit cakey and cracking in my mouth lines and just around my mouth in general. And I did look really oily, because I was oily. However, I thought overall the fade was really graceful and it had been lightweight throughout the whole day, so that was good about it. So today I had hopes that hopefully, you know, with my Guerlain primer, my tried and true, it would help to make the foundation stick better through the sweat and whatnot. So I went ahead and did that again, used my concealers, prep my canvas all nice and good like, and then put on the foundation with the sponge. I was able to build again, blend again. I mean, I guess I didn't build again because I made sure to only use one pump of foundation this time so I could use a very thin layer to test that, thinking maybe it just comes off with sweat if I use too much. Well, I checked in at four hours. I was super oily and I was feeling super oily. I also was noticing a slight transfer onto my fingers. I also saw a major transfer onto my blotting sheets, but overall I didn't think it looked too bad on my face. And now here at the end of the night at the nine hour mark, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, again, around my sweatier areas or my oiliest areas, AKA my nose in the middle of my face, I can see that quite a bit of the foundation has gone like off of the sides of my nose and around my mouth in my mustache area. But overall, I think it looks like it faded gracefully and it just, it doesn't look awful. I'll say that much. But when I do touch my face, I do, I do get the transfer, which is pretty annoying. So here we are getting on into the pros and the cons. Start off with the pros as always. You know, this does have a very nice blendable and buildable finish. I will give it that slash application. I guess that doesn't really have to do with the finish but the application is nice. It's very easy to work with, brush, sponge, whatever you choose. It does also stay very lightweight throughout the day. I can barely tell that I have foundation on right now, aside from the transferring. And also the fade throughout the day is quite graceful, I personally think, if you're not getting sweaty. Here's where we get on into the cons. Someone missed being on camera. <sighs> Apparently not that much. <laughs> but like I was saying, for the cons, the biggest one is that this, for me anyways, was not sweat friendly, no matter what primer I did or didn't use. And this foundation claims to be sweat friendly, you know? I just, that's a huge, huge con, especially when it's promising me otherwise. It also is a con that this does transfer with oils because that's another thing that they promised is that it's gonna work well with your oils. You know, they say it's gonna flex with you and auto refresh and blah, blah, blah. I saw no auto refreshing. I was just oily all throughout the day and had to really avoid touching my face or having my face touch anything because transfer, wow. So, like I said, not the worst foundation ever. It's really not. However, I think this really is not made for people with oily skin. Just my personal take on things. It's also certainly not for people who are sweaty like I am. 
Mm -mm. But more so than the not for oily skinned people, this is not for sweaty people. So if you wanted to get this foundation because of those reasons, I would say steer clear. No, no, away, be gone. I think this would probably work best for people with normal skin. Yeah, I mean, maybe dry skin. I guess I'm not sure. I haven't had too many dry things on my face lately, so I guess I didn't notice it clinging to any dry patches, but I don't know that it had any dry patches to cling to in any case. Definitely not for oily people, certainly might be okay for normal people, and also people who don't sweat profusely, regardless of what time of year it is. So, there you go, my friends. I hope my review was helpful for you all. You know, especially the people that requested it of me. Thank you so much for that. I'm glad I could get around to doing this foundation eventually for you guys. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have tried out this foundation, what was your experience with it, what kind of skin do you have, all that good stuff. It is always good to cook up a nice casserole the comments with you guys in the comment section down below so that we can all have a more informed and better opinion and thoughts and reviews on these products. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful not only through a comment down below but also by giving this video a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well. Until then, bye.